Hi, welcome to the Auker Ballast Control and Rig Stability Simulator 3D. I'm going to show how the system works. We have here two screens working on a network. So what I do in the left or right uh, will mimic. On the right side I have the pontoon column tanks screen. Um, so you can see here in you know, light green uh, the seawater, the ballast water, and um, you can see also in dark blue uh, diesel oil and the pink color here can be like uh, water for service on the crew or process for the mud tanks, the drilling operation, etc. And um, you have here also other screens, just to give an idea, that shows the rig position on the center of the drilling of the wellhead, you know, that's conducted through the riser, so you can also simulate the mooring system. The anchor position indicators, okay, have like eight anchors. And also you have like uh, the side view of those lines. So I'm going to leave here showing the pontoon tanks and columns. And I'm going here on the left screen and uh, go to the whole damage pontoon tanks. Let's say I open like a 20 inch hole on the port side of the thruster compartment here. So you can see here in the right screen that it's starting to flood. On the left screen, if I go to put two tanks load and as a port side, you can see here that the level is increasing by like 18 percent and you can see the mass of water actuating in the port side forward and now we have about 220 tons and it really really goes very fast so if I go to the graphics the rig dynamic rope pitch you can observe that the platform start to tilt in that direction. If I go to the rig stability monitor screen, you can see here list trim the angles that are you know increasing very fast. We have about here like fifty percent, so we have like uh, two degrees probably. When it's full, we're going to reach maybe seven degrees on, on that scenario. If I come back to the pump tank load analysis, I have here like seven two percent and uh, almost six hundred tons. It's a very huge impact on the platform stability. So it's almost full, we are here like uh, 5 degrees, in trim we have like uh, almost 6, and come back to the load analysis here, I have 95%, uh, we reach about 800 tons. Okay. Um, I'm going to the environmental, environmental data screen and uh, I can make several scenarios here. Uh, let's say um, I'm going to modify here and um, I'm going to introduce a sea current actuating uh, like in 35 degrees, uh, 2 knots speed and I click OK 
that shows like a 53, 54 tons actuating in, in that side of the vessel. And if we go here to graphics, hold position indicator, we see that the platform is drifting. And uh, we have to work with the winches to correct because the max angle that um, the riser uh, can support about 3 degrees. So we have to be concerned about this. And uh, I can show here other screens referring uh, to the mimic panels in the bus control room. Here we split it each mini panel for the port side and starboard side in three sections. So we have here in the left section two and on the right section three. So the right procedure here is to deballast um, the tank WP, WBO2 here you can see here and um, we, we have the valves here and there is a convention on the open and close we have used the, the system in a binary system so open is one and close is zero um, so I have here ballast pump here mm. on the right is in red, you have bilge pump. So to the ballast WBO2, uh, we have here zeros close. So I have to click here, modify, and I click here, and I put like one. So I open this valve here, see? So I accept, OK. And uh, I have to continue here with this line. So I click here, modify, right? So I will open all this line here, one, and I click OK. So I have to turn around this pump. So I double click here, ballast pump, and the pump is working. Good. So if I go here to the pontoon tank side and uh, we, we have to wait to deballast WBO2. This simulation you can increase or decrease the speed of each action about 10 times. So we don't have to wait, you know, the operation itself until you know you, you can see the result so I'm going to check you know the the, the loading here pontoon tank load analysis for port side and see what's going on here I have here WBO2 and the pump is working because it was 100% full and I have 97.3 so I, I'm emptying on, on the port forward side, that's the right decision. So I can come back to the same draft of the platform and safely you know, put it in balance. So if I go to the rig stability monitoring screen, I can see here uh, the list and trim um, so we have still some, you know, fluctuation, the impact of the waves. So we take some time to observe the platform returning to this original position. Yeah. Not enough time to see here WBO2 because you know the pumps. You know we need to to run 
couple of hours to to read.